There's great news for publishers who want to set up rewarded ads for web. You can now traffic rewarded ads on Google Ad Manager for desktop, mobile, and tablet web inventory. The rewarded ad experience allows users to voluntarily opt in to an ad experience in exchange for a reward. If you're familiar with mobile apps, for example, the concept of rewarded ads can be quite familiar. For example, a user can agree to watch a video or view a display ad to receive a particular reward. The reward can come in different forms. It could be additional news articles, it could be in the form of additional points to play within a game, it could be an extra life in a game, or even access Wi-Fi at an airport or a public place. Here are the requirements and restrictions involved in setting up rewarded ads for web. In Ad Manager, the Allow Video Ads control must be enabled. In order for the site to serve rewarded ads, the pages must be mobile optimized. Publishers are also responsible for rendering the screen where the user chooses to view the rewarded ad and for delivering the rewarded ad to that user. For example, if you're a publisher that creates mostly news content, this could be your paywall, which could be your own or a third-party paywall solution. Google Ad Manager prefetches the video ad content and renders the ad with the corresponding user controls. For example, close button and sound controls. Rewarded ads for web are filled through both video and display demand by default. If you're a publisher who wants to try out rewarded ads, take note of these specifications. For certain demand types, rewarded ads for web automatically play with the sound on so it's not muted at all. Before the ad begins, the user is prompted to either continue playing the video with sound or to cancel. If the user explicitly says no to viewing the ad or closes the ad before completion or getting the reward, they are prompted to confirm that they will lose that reward. When it comes to reporting, impressions are counted when the ad is actually shown to the user. The ad must be in view for three seconds for a reward to be granted. A reward can only be granted if the ad was viewed by the user for at least three seconds. A rewarded ad is considered complete when the video finishes or the defined display time is reached or, if eligible, when the skip threshold is reached and users can skip the ad once the threshold is reached and still receive the reward. So how do you actually begin serving rewarded ads using Google Ad Manager? So in GAM, you have to begin by creating the ad unit. So go to Inventory, Add Units and click on New Ad Unit. Give it a name. Now under sizes, the size that you actually select here will not impact ad serving when it comes to rewarded ads for web. So you can actually select whatever size you see fit. I'm going to select one by one for this example. I'll keep the default settings here, including the reward section. And by default, it'll say one reward. So the default here will say one under amount, and then the default type is reward. But you can enable this override button and you can change the value under amount to let's say five and the reward type to let's say lives. So that means when this rewarded ad is served to the user, the user shall receive five additional lives if this rewarded ad has been successfully completed and awarded. You can then go ahead and save the settings. Now comes the line item. For this particular example, we're setting up an ad exchange line item and you can either enable all requested sizes, otherwise you can disable and make sure to select one by one custom as your inventory size. This is regardless of whatever size you've selected in the add unit settings. Set up your line items as needed. When prompted, click on automatically generate creative and then you can begin setting up the ad tag on the website. Rewarded ad has three events to take note of. The first is rewarded slot ready. This is triggered when the rewarded ad is available and can be shown to the user. Next, we have rewarded slot granted, which is triggered when the user is granted the reward. And lastly, we have rewarded slot closed, which is triggered when the user clicks on the close button, whether or not the reward was granted. 
to present the reward, your code should call this line. So right now we're going to try testing the rewarded ad on an actual website. So let's first open up the ad unit we've created earlier. Click on tags and then generate the tag. I'll take note of this section. And here's the sample script from Google's Help Center article. And as you can see, it has the three components we listed earlier. We have rewarded slot ready and then the prompt when this is fetched. We also have rewarded slot granted and enclosed here is the message we want to display when the reward is successfully awarded to the user. And lastly, we have rewarded slot closed. Again, this comes up when the user closes the rewarded ad, whether the reward has been granted or not. So I'll replace this section right here with the actual ad unit that we've set up. I'll go ahead and copy the entire thing. And we're going to go to a test site where we want to see this rewarded ad in action. So I'm going to go to this site, right click and click on inspect. And I'm just going to use the override function here and click on sources. And I've went ahead and pasted this script from here to this section of the site right here. So I'm going to go ahead and refresh. So using local overrides, I can now see the prompt right here at the top. So it says, want to see a rewarded ad, just like how we set it up. So I'm going to click on OK. And then we can see a display ad right in front of us loading for around three seconds. And it says the reward is granted. So when I click on OK, and then I click on close, it'll now show the close message confirmation. Thanks for joining us today. We hope you enjoyed our presentation. Also, learn to monetize more by watching our tutorial series and reading our latest ad optimization tip. Please subscribe to our blog to receive periodic updates. Thanks. We'll catch you next time.